Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome to a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video we are going to be discussing something of course regarding Dark Kai or Evil Kai that was said by Tommy Andreessen on Twitter. Now in case you guys don't know who Tommy Andreessen is, uh, he is one of the co-creators of Ninjago and if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you would know that we cover a lot of his tweets. I mean this channel could basically be converted to a Tommy Andreessen Twitter coverage channel. That's how much we talk about this guy's tweets but to be fair he is a credible source for Ninjago and he does drop a lot of hints and clues to what the future of Ninjago might bring, and recently somebody asked him about the possibility of Dark Kai, or Evil Kai. Here's the tweet in question, of course, as common courtesy. I've blurred out the name of the original poster, just for safety reasons, but he does ask Tommy Andreessen, what are the possibilities of Dark Kai? To which Tommy Andreessen replies with, I'm happy to say that we have something better for y'all interesting. So of course Dark Kai, if you don't know what that theory is, uh, I've kind of made a little bit of a theory online about Dark Kai or Evil Kai making an appearance in the future of Ninjago, specifically during the summertime season or the summertime special event, whatever you want to call uh, the summertime wave for Ninjago, that season I kind of predicted that Kai might go evil in, just based off a few things that Tommy Andreessen has said on Twitter as well. In the past, he's said various things like one of the ninja will drastically change in the future. Now, in my opinion, a ninja can only drastically change if he's going to the dark side. That'd probably be the most drastic change that any of the ninja could face. Also, he did mention that Kai and Nia's relationship is about to get a whole lot deeper. Now, what does that mean? I had a theory that since season 15 was going to be Nia, story, maybe what she could do is kind of, I guess, fight Kai in that way. Maybe it could be like a battle between siblings. That could be interesting. That would definitely deepen a relationship and make it more of an expansive one at that, too. I mean, it could either tear them apart or bring them closer together. And if you combine all of those things with the fact that Kai isn't the most emotionally stable member of the team, in my opinion, Kai could become evil or at least become some type of vigilante. Now, that's pretty much the path that I'm going with here at this point. I don't think Kai is going to be completely evil. I was kind of thinking, based off of this tweet, what could be better than Kai going evil? What if Kai left the ninja team? What if he just went off on his own and became some type of rogue vigilante? I mean, that still could be a very dramatic change for Kai. He's not necessarily fighting with his friends anymore. He's fighting against them and for his own well-being. And while he might not be a villain, he would still kind of take up the mantle of a Batman-esque character, kind of off on his own, not really connected with anybody, and of course, not really following the law in terms of how he protects people. That would make Kai a very brutal ninja, in my opinion, and it could I guess sway him a little bit more towards the dark side, but he wouldn't entirely be evil. He would still be a good guy. Again, like I mentioned though, he would just kind of be a little bit more of a vigilante, you know, more so than what the ninja are right now. The ninja as they are right now in the show are very much colorful, uh, good guys that flash onto the scene whenever they need to, but what if one ninja kind of operated in the shadows? I feel like that's what Kai could end up doing. Imagine Kai as a shadowy dark fire master fighting only for himself while still trying to maintain order throughout Ninjago. I think that would make for a very interesting story. Again, with Kai and Nia's relationship, that would also strengthen that as well. It would also make the relationship a little weird and awkward, I suppose, if they need to fight each other occasionally, but still, I think that would be a very cool thing, and in a lot of ways, it would be a lot better for Kai than just having him be a straight-up villain. I think that would be a very interesting way to bring Kai's character around, and again, with Kai's emotional instability and the fact that he's prone to rage, a lot of these things could, I guess, support the idea of vigilante Kai. I just wanted to make this video just because I wanted to open this up to you guys as well. Well, what do you think is better than Evil Kai or Vigilante Kai? Where would you like to see Kai's story go in the future of Ninjago? Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments, and that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including once again the Marvelous Jan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.